just, I, I just need to say just a little bit of that. If we church, give me a, a clap, a clap, a clap. Got it?
And when they saw it, they said it was, and I didn't know what a lytic lesion was, so I had to ask questions, what, you, what is that? And they began to tell me that's a hole where the cancer has eaten through the bone. And then they allowed me to see the x-rays because I wanted to know everything about it. Because see, this is what I want to share with you. Whatever report you get, you do your own research to see all about it. Don't get nervous. Don't fall apart. Find out all the information that you can about it. Because when you begin to believe God, you know, you got to know what you believe in God for. It can't just be any old random something. You got to be specific. So I began to... I wanted to see it. When I looked at the x-ray, I could see the hole that was on my leg bone. Y'all see me standing up here, right? The doctor said the hole was so big that I didn't have to do anything and that bone would break. I said, what? He said, it doesn't matter if, you know, about being careful. It, you don't have to be doing anything, and it's to such a degree it will break. So what we want to do, because he said if it breaks, it's going to make all of the other issues even worse. So what we want to do is do a preventive step and put a rod in that leg so that when it breaks, you won't have problems because the leg will be stabilized. So I said, well, okay, put the rod in, I, and then I started, I said, okay, but wait a minute. Uh, what kind of surgery is this? What's going to happen? How am I going to feel? And the doctor assured me, he said, oh, we do this all the time for, you know, the little old ladies that just fall and they hurt the hip and, you know, in a couple days, you'll be up and moving, everything will be okay. I said, okay. Now, one of the things that I'm going to share with people as I continue this journey is how this earth body needs to go back to the earth where it came from to get all that is in the earth to sustain this earth body. Y'all follow what I'm saying? God created us out of the dust of and everything, my dears, every mineral, every vitamin that we need to sustain this earth body is still where? In the earth. Unfortunately, we done got all so used to all of the processed stuff that completely processed everything out of it. By the time I went back for the first x-ray, the hole was still there. The bone, you know, the, the surgery part and everything, all those mechanical things was working real good. But by the time I went back for the second x-ray, the orthopedic surgeon, he said, you know, your leg is really looking good. I, he said, I can't even see where the hole was. I said, wait, wait, I'm in the room now. And the minute he said that, joy leaped up in my soul, you know. But, but I said, but wait, 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 what'd you say? <laughs> he said, I can't, I can't see where the hole was. I said, so, so what are you saying? Are you telling me that? The bone has grown back in the hole? He said, yes. I said, good God Almighty. Glory to God. Talk and testify and testify. In the meantime, the oncologist following my blood, because my blood had gotten down to 7.9, my blood count, hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is supposed to be at least 12 for you not to be in serious condition. When it gets down to eight, who, nurses, uh -huh. when it gets down to eight something, they start talking about blood transfusions. Well, while I was in rehab, it had gotten down to 8.5, and they wanted to know if uh, I would would be ready for to go and get my transfusion. I said, no, wait, no. I don't need to get nobody else's blood mixed up in mine. We gonna go back and do what I was doing when I first got out of the hospital because again, I went back to the earth. And, began, and I ain't gonna tell all y'all what all that is. Y'all have to get my book or something. This is gonna be in there. All the secrets. <laughs> but I began my regime of herbal uh, 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 supplements. And before I got out of rehab, my blood count had gone back up. 
after I came out of rehab and went back to the oncologist, that blood count that was down 8.9, 7.9, as of last week, it is now 11.5. you that they have said that all of the cancer is gone. But you know what? Whose report am I going to believe? I, it doesn't matter what the doctor's report is. I got a greater report that's in this word. And that report says I'm already here because of what Christ has done a long time ago. That's why I can sing about the blood that keeps on giving me strength. From day to day, I'm holding on to the promises of God. Testimony, now let's get to Look at somebody and say, God is still a healer.